My name is Sophie de Oliveira and I run the Alternative Limb Project. We make highly stylized wearable art in the form of prosthetics for amputees and we create ultra realistic looking limbs as well as really outlandish pieces for those that want to stand out and celebrate their difference. A lot of our work is made for performance and gets exhibited around the globe to serve as inspiration through examples of what the body can be promoting positive conversations around disability and celebrating body diversity. I collaborate with other artists and skilled workers in cutting edge technology, such as robotics and 3D printing, and traditional craft like jewelry and metal and woodcraft to create really striking works of wearable art. We touch on themes of body modification, evolution and transhumanism. Cuckoo was designed by myself in collaboration with wood carver Samuel Rudman. It was carved in cherry wood down to the shoelaces. It houses electronics by Rory Thompson, which operate a clock, a swinging pendulum that defies gravity upside down, a bell, a bird that pops out of the knee with a little cuckoo sound. It was fitted and aligned by prosthetist Chris Parsons. Cuckoo was conceived in 2019 for performance artist Welly O'Brien from Kanduko Dance Company. I felt the piece reflected Welly's character in its playfulness and elegance as well as her enjoyment for the absurd, but also her transition in her career from highly charged aerial acts to more gentle solo expressive performances and natural winding down of the clock. We wanted to explore time in reference to the body itself and how it transitions through different phases and stages. The idea of controlling time with various speeds and the pendulum defying gravity came about during the development of the film, exploring the ever-changing perception of time. Another theme we wanted to explore was the underlying ticking of time within the body's own clock, our own natural rhythms. This is something innate in all of us humans and it's part of who we are. It is something we can't control and this is expressed by Welly as she attempts to separate herself from the clock. But it's still there, she can't control it, it's still ticking. Using the natural elements of wood and gold in harmony with the body, we thought about what this meant in relation to the permanence, fragility and preciousness. These words also evoke the meaning we can attribute to time itself. We felt Cuckoo would work well in an industrial and clean setting. Tate Modern, with its brutalist architecture, was perfect for this. With its concrete, complemented the textures and colours of the natural body and the wooden leg. The space gave Welly the freedom to choreograph some interesting movements, referring to time itself, both with the leg on and off, his choreographer, Charlotte Derbyshire. Filmmaker Sarah Von Jones from Sadler's Wells then edited the film to add a further layer, playing with the perception of time. Thank you.